Hi, I'm Eric LeClaire, here at CES 2013 at the Amp of America booth. Just want to show you what we have on display. Starting here, we have the iSymbol NC. This is a 2013 Innovations Award winner. Basically, this is a hands-free streaming solution for any vehicle. It's got a built-in FM modulator, so it connects to literally any vehicle. It also has an auxiliary output, so if your vehicle has aux in, you can get better sound quality. But this is a hands-free um, calling and hands-free streaming piece that uses the steering wheel controls to do track forward, track back, AVRCP, wireless control of your iPhone or Android. And also there's an app for it. The app's gonna let you control messaging, email, internet radio, and voice control of your phone in your car. That's the NC. Next on display is the iSimple Connect. This is your hands-free audio solution for, for iPhone, Android, and MP3 players. This is an MFI certified product, so it's certified for Apple, made for iPhone, iPod, and iPad. It gives you a USB port on the dash where a user can plug in the lightning cable that came with their iPhone or their iPod or their iPad. This works with iPhone 5, the new Nanos, and the new iPod Minis, or iPad Minis. <clears throat> you get full control from the radio with text right on the radio, full control from the text from the radio and steering wheel controls. iSimple Connect gives you several ways to connect your devices. There's the USB port so you can plug in your device, and it also has Bluetooth for wireless calling and audio streaming. The iSimple Gateway and it's multiple upgrades. We're showing here is the ISPT21 Bluetooth module for hands-free calling and Bluetooth audio streaming. And then the ISSR12 satellite radio add-on cable that allows you to add the Sirius XM SXV200 tuner. Here we show, we're showing the Transit Blue, both the ISFM21 and ISFM22. This is your Bluetooth receiver with an FM transmitter built in. So it connects to any vehicle with an FM antenna or an auxiliary input and provides a Bluetooth point so you can pair your phone and stream audio. This next piece is getting a lot of press recently. The media links for my simple coming soon. This is basically the missing link to connecting, getting video from your new Apple device, iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad with Lightning Connector. There's an adapter that Apple makes that allows you to get video out, which provides an HDMI connection. But no vehicles have HDMI input to the TV. So the media links for my simple takes your HDMI input and converts it to a composite video output so that you connect it to the headrest monitors or rear seat entertainment in your vehicle. Next up is the Blue Street. There's actually two versions of this product, one for the car and one for the home. Let's take a look at it right here. Your ISBT51 plugs into the cigarette lighter adapter and has a 3.5 millimeter that plugs into the aux input on many new vehicles. Then all you have to do is take this little microphone and stick it on the dash and pair your phone with the Bluetooth receiver. And within about a minute and a half, you've installed a Bluetooth hands-free streaming solution that allows for uh, Bluetooth hands-free calling and audio streaming from any Android or iPhone. Products that consumers are looking to connect to their car are constantly changing. So we at iSimple are constantly changing as well. We've got some new solutions here from the Transit family. These are USB audio solutions. So all the new iPhones and iPads and iPods, if you want to plug an audio cable in and get audio from the, uh, the device, you have to use a USB controlling device. So what we have is a dash mountable USB, has a bracket that goes under the dash, or you can simply drill a three quarter inch unibit hole and drop that right in the dash. Take the cable that came with your iPod, your iPhone, or iPad, plug it in the USB port, and then connect the RCA connections into your audio input, and you've got an audio solution for new Apple devices. The IS3401 is the same USB to RCA adapter as the IS3301, but now it includes the FM modulator, so it's able to connect to any vehicle with an FM antenna. Pretty excited about these next products on this panel. That's right, iSymbol's producing lightning cables. We're making six foot lightning cables in black. There's gonna be three SKUs available. A USB to lightning, a cigarette lighter adapter to lightning, and a 110 volt wall plug to lightning. On this panel, we're showing uh, four of the hub bolt SKUs. We've actually got a, a home power adapter that has four outlets, a massive eight amp dual outlet cigarette lighter adapter, a slim design 2.1 amp little charger iPad or iPod or Android. We've even got one with a voltmeter on it. 
Last up on display, for my simple, is the Stronghold family of mounts. You've got an iPhone, you've got an Android, you've got a tablet, we've got a solution for you. We've got cup holder mounts that spin on the ring on the bottom to adjust to fit any size cup holder. This is the ISSH-74. It's an iPhone Z-mount. So it's a Z-mount we've got here. And there's a case for the iPhone with a small square on the back. So it can be mounted in portrait or landscape. And then we've got here the ISSH-6501. This headrest mount is extremely strong, mounts very well. It's easy to remove the tablet. It fits tablets from 7 inches to 10.2 and rotates without rele releasing the tablet. Hi, I'm Ernie Hartman with Amp of America here at the uh, 2013 CES show. And today we're going to talk to you about the PAC RP lineup of radio replacement interfaces. So, <clears throat> basically the Radio Pro was designed for easy installation, average time 15 minutes. Our slogan is engineered simplicity or basically it, it just works. First we're going to start with our Radio Pro 5 lineup. Uh, basically what the Radio Pro 5 level indicates is that we'll retain any telematic system such as OnStar or Ford Sync. Here we have our Radio Pro 5 GM32. This is designed for 2012 and up GM SUVs with the new 44 pin connector. This RP5 will retain OnStar, steering wheel controls, factory Bluetooth, power up your rear seat entertainment, and retain the factory auxiliary jacks. So it also has the separate time module, and then here you have your steering wheel control output, and the Radio Pro 5 has built-in steering wheel controls that comes pre-programmed out of the box. So basically all you have to do is wire it up, set the dial, plug it in, and you're done. Here we have our Radio Pro 5 GM31. This is for 2007 and up GM vehicles equipped with the 14, 16 pin connector. Again, this has your chime module, built-in steering wheel controls already programmed. And we also give you uh, inputs for your factory center channel, subwoofer, and an output for your factory reverse camera. Here we have our RP5 FD11. This is for Ford Lincoln Mercury vehicles equipped with sync. Here you have your sync display, which gives you all your information for sync and also will display information for factory amp settings. You have factory aux jack and factory rear seat entertainment audio and again your steering wheel control output which is also pre-programmed and ready to go out of the box. Here we have our RP5 GM11. This is for General Motors vehicles with the Class 2 data bus. So that ranges in the years from 2003 all the way up to 2012. Uh, just like the GM LAN interfaces, it has your chime module and your steering wheel control outputs. And it retains also factory amplified systems, Bose, non-Bose, premium, doesn't matter. Again, just works. Now we're going to drop down a level to our Radio Pro 4 interface. The difference between the 4 and the 5 is the 4 offers all the features of the 5 except for the telematics retention, which again is OnStar, Ford Sync, systems like that. So here we have our RP4 FD11. This is for Ford Lincoln Mercury vehicles. And just like the RP5, it has the rear seat audio, factory aux jack, factory subwoofer, steering wheel control outputs, pre-programmed. This interface here is our RP4 GM41. This is for the new General Motors vehicles like the Sonic and the Spark, who have the new 44 pin connector. This also gives you your factory auxiliary audio into the aftermarket head unit. And again, your steering wheel control outputs pre-programmed out of the box. Next up is the RP4 GM31. This will be for your General Motors 29-bit land vehicles, ranging from 07 and up. Uh, just like the RP5, it gives you your steering wheel control outputs, factory aux, factory center and sub, and it has the chime module built right into the interface, so you don't have to worry about hiding a separate chime module somewhere. Next up is the RP4 GM31. This is for 2007 and up GM vehicles with the 29-bit land system. We give you RCA connectors on the plug, that way you can interface with the Bose system. It works with premium or standard Bose, or if you have a non-amplified system, you can simply cut off the RCAs and wire it up to the high level outputs of the radio. We have the built-in chime, so there's no separate chime module to hide, and as with all the RPs, steering wheel control outputs built in, pre-programmed. Here we have our RP4 GM32, and just like the 31, it's set up to work with Bose, non-Bose, premium or standard. Again, the RCAs for the Bose, cut them off and wire to the high level output for non-Bose, built-in chime, 
steering wheel control outputs pre-programmed. Here we have our RP4 GM32. And just like the 31, it's set up to work with Bose, non-Bose, premium or standard. Again, the RCAs for the Bose. Cut them off and wire to the high-level output for non-Bose. Built-in chime, steering wheel control outputs, pre-programmed. Here we have our RP4 CH11 for 2004 and up Chrysler Dodge Jeep vehicles. It comes with two separate harnesses, so it works with both the medium speed can and the low speed fault tolerant can. It's also compatible with the factory infinity system, kicker system, Boston system, and Alpine system. And as with all the other RP4s, it gives you all of your navigation outputs, VSS, illumination, parking brake, reverse trigger. Up next we have the RP4 GM11. This is for General Motors vehicles with the Class 2 data bus. And as with its other GM cousins, it works with Bose, premium or standard, non-amplified systems as well. So again, we give you the RCAs for the Bose systems, or you can cut them off and wire them to high level for the non-Bose. And as with all of its other RP4 brothers, it gives you the navigation outputs, retained accessory power, reverse wire, vehicle speed sense, illumination, parking brake, and again, steering wheel control output, pre-programmed right out of the box. Here we have the RP4 MZ11. This radio pro is for select Mazda vehicles. We're equipped with a CAN bus radio. This works on amplified, non-amplified systems. Also works with the Bose center point. And that gives you your steering wheel control outputs pre-programmed out of the box and also gives you all the navigation outputs like your retained accessory power, reverse, vehicle speed sense, illumination, and parking brake. What's special about the Mazda interface is that it also retains the factory LCD screen that is typically lost when you pull out the factory radio. And finally we have our RP4 VW11. This is uh, for select O2 and up Volkswagen vehicles with CAN bus radios. This will work on amplified, non-amplified, Dyn Audio, Fender systems. And just like all the other radio pros, it gives you all of your navigation outputs and it has steering wheel control output pre-programmed out of the box. Hey, Eric here from the Amp of America booth. I want to show you the pack products we have on display. We're showing the line of our navigation unlock interfaces. These are mostly plug and play and they unlock advanced features of the factory navigation radio, like Bluetooth keypad entry and viewing the backup camera wall in motion. This is our packed connectivity panel showing our aftermarket audio um, connection cables for iPod and iPhone, including the new IS9413 for my simple. The square premium USB cable with locking connectors is made for the car. This panel is showcasing our two of our brand new digital line output converters. The PDLC21 is our two channel line out converter with a 10 volt pre out. So you can actually use this as a line driver, and it's fantastic for um, head, unit, head unit free applications like a golf cart or a boat, any marine application or an ATV. You can connect a cable from your Android or iPhone directly into this bad boy, and it'll provide. The PDLC has remote in and remote out, so it can be used to trigger a device. It has signal sensing, and it has a 10x line driver, so it's a very clean way to boost your audio signal going into an amplifier. Like its little brother, the PDLC 81 has 10 volt outputs. It's this, except this one has eight channels of line out conversion, and it also does summing. So it's great for systems like a BMW where they have a three-way with a tweeter, a mid-range, and a woofer. You can use this to feed the three inputs into the PDLC81 and sum those so that you have a full range output to feed into the amplifier. This piece also has an auxiliary audio input. 